Hi, welcome to Dark Ages BTS. So somebody on Instagram recently was like, hey, I like snails a lot, I'm gonna send you some snails. And I said, okay. And I was like, don't send me animals in a way that is bad. Like the last roach just showed up, they were just in a cardboard box, someone had stabbed with like a prison shiv. They're like, don't worry, it's gonna be packaged humanely. And I was like, great. So this week, you know, we're waiting for a package, right? You know, you mail something normally, it's got living animals in it. Even if they're hibernating, it's packaged, it says live animals, right? Like living things are in this box, okay? You're the mailman, you're like, oh, there's a living animal in here. Let me not throw it across the room. Let me not leave it in like direct sunlight. Great, okay, cool. Anyways, I see on Instagram, the person's like, hey, it was supposed to be there. Uh, Finally, I like go out and look in the mailbox. At the bottom of our mailbox is this package. This looks like if you ordered something on like Silk Road, uh, what would arrive to your house, okay? Nothing about this is like, oh, yo, watch out. It's, where did these even come from, okay? Nothing, there's a bird. That's about the closest thing you'll, notification you have that there's anything associated with animals. I'm like shaking this like, Sounds like uh, somebody's like uh, car keys were in here. I'm like, it's probably something someone got for Alex from Russia. Let me open it up. No, no, it's in here. So, how long? 24 hours maybe in a Los Angeles mailbox, probably like 100 degrees. What I can tell from the outside is there were two things inside of a plastic container with like air holes. But then this was sealed, so I don't know if like air holes in a plastic container work if then you put like, you seal them in a sealed envelope. But just for starters, I don't know that that's something that makes sense, you know? It's like if I was like, Matt, I'm gonna put you in a box, don't worry, there's air holes, but then I'm gonna bury you under the earth. I'm gonna put you in a plastic bag and then put you in a mailbox that's 100 degrees. Garden snails, useful information. In hot or drought periods, garden snails retract in their shell and cover the opening with a layer of mucus. You can easily wake them up by removing the epithelial very carefully and wet them. You want me to peel a layer of slime off of this and then put them in the water. It takes about half an hour or more for them to wake up. We always send a few more snails because there is a low possibility some of them don't wake up eventually. I got bad news for you. I don't know if anything's waking up from this. So, what we have here, it looks literally like two garden snails. Um, there does appear to be Whatever that is. If you think I'm peeling that off, or you're out of your fucking mind. I'm not doing anything like that. That's awful. We'll put them in some warm water, and we will see if these two snails survive the US postal system and whatever fucking hostile two person, uh, you know, sends out the live animal mail for this company. Why would I have to peel? Like in nature, you would have to peel this off? That does not look good. That. I don't know about that, but okay. Uh, I can't stay awake, awake in this state for more than a year, but they are able to stay this way for months. Hmm. Well, this is like a cryo sleep, you know, in a movie. Maybe they'll wake up. Maybe they won't in the future. I. I what is this? I'll give them a little dunk. Here, you want a little dunk? I mean, in nature, surely they, you know, they wouldn't need like a human to walk o over to them and like, um, like you know, peel them out of their package. Why would anything in nature do that? The reward of this is, if we do a good job, then I'll put them in a tank and they'll probably make like a hundred babies that I have to take care of. So either I can like function with someone mailed an animal in the mail and it died in the mail getting to us, or I'll have hundreds of snail babies. It's a, it's a lose. Lose here at Cow Shop every day. Lose, 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 lose. Good luck, guys. Great news. Don't know how long it's been. Probably half an hour. Homeboy is rocking in his shell. First, I noticed his little mucus thing sucked back in. And I thought I was going crazy for a second. But he definitely moved on his own twice. He's like shaking. Back and forth. Nature keeps going, folks. This guy, uh, frankly, hasn't moved at all. So maybe there's one snail. But look at, you see how you can see like his little uh, slime layer is sucking back into it? He is definitely alive. We got one living being. Wake up, bro. Wake up. Oh, dude, he's coming. He's coming. 
What do you have? What do you have? Snails? Uh, someone sent these snails in the mail from like this scuffed, uh, presumably Russian company. Okay. They've been in our mailbox for like two days. This is. This is crazy. This is where I'm at, bro. Very cool. I hope we have a 50 gallon tank of snails next. Yeah, that's definitely coming. Did you need me to peel that? I, I could see, you can see where that layer ends and he begins on the one that's coming back to life. Do you see that? Yeah. Where? Do I gotta like, get like some tweezers now and go like? Maybe, maybe. But again, this was nature. I have some tweezers, do you want them? Maybe. But if this was nature, what would he do? He'd like just wait. Wait for some ants mm -hmm. to eat the thing and then be like, oh, I'm free. I'm free of the thing I did to myself. Do it! Dude, they're probably a little sleepy. They need a little wake me up. Yeah, I think they're dead. <laughs> you have those tweezers? I'll take those tweezers. I'm ready to try this. Majorly, majorly scuffed. Okay, now, for this surgery. Dude, why is my life, like, turned into Ants Canada? I didn't ask for any of this. Just to peel this mucus layer off. I don't just, like, pull its head off accidentally. That's gonna be, like, my luck on this. <gasps> I don't like this one bit. Ooh, ooh, it's coming off that. Ooh, it's coming off. Ooh, yucky. This is, hopefully this is not part of you, friend. Oh yeah, sick, did I did it. Surgery one, complete. He's dead. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh! He like sucked it in a little bit when I poked. Oh! He's sucking it in, I can't get it. He's sucking it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. He thinks I'm trying to eat him. Bro, I don't want to eat you. I don't even eat regular ass animals, much less your gross fucking dehydrated mailbox ass, okay? Just give me the fucking mucus. We can get on with our lives. Got it. Ooh. All right, well, come on out whenever you're ready. I'm sure you'll wait another 35 minutes. Wash this off for you. It's probably a disease. Diseases. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so look at my fucking toilet after that. Look at my fucking shower curtain. It looks like it's got fucking. Ugh. I did this for you, cow chop. I did this for you. I'm trying to... <laughs> I just want them off. <laughs> I have work I need to do. Companion is not helping either. Please... Ow! <laughs> what the fuck? Now he is home. He's so alive now. Yeah. No, he life. was wandering around the rim for a while, so... Great news, both snails are alive and it's time to put them in something. First I said, let's give them this little tank, that'd be cute, a little snail home. Then I realized, what if they fuck and make up to 100 eggs when they have babies? No, 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 no way, no chance. Instead, they will each go to a separate biome where they will become the apex predator. My friend here, very active, trying to uh, make his way out of this thing several times already. My very inactive friend here, who is just, uh, I don't know what he's doing, honestly, just sleeping. Ew, look at all this mucus. The thing I'm not particularly stoked about is the idea of cleaning mucus off of um, the glass of these tanks. But you know what, look at this, look at this fucking puke bubble. Ew, dude, ew. Looks like a fucking loogie. Okay, well, guess what? You, that's nature. And I put this gigantic booger right here. This is Frankenstein's uh, nest. Don't fall off the log. Please don't fall off the log. Please don't fall off the log. Please don't fall off the log. Nice, dude. 
So you can cruise around. We got Frankenstein in here. He hates everybody. You clearly seem like you hate everybody. Oh, I'm touching the other snail. Um, and as for you, my famed adventurer, will you let me pull you off? Do they? How do I do this? I'm supposed to like slide them up and then pull them off. How do I? <laughs> It's like trying to move the roaches. They really don't do anything they don't want to do. Look at his little fucking eyes. Do you see him? At least he acknowledges me. It's okay. I'm, I'm your friend here. Let's go. I brought you back from beyond the grave. I just want to put you in a nice home. Can you fucking let go? Oh, we're ordering lunch, so I have to get this snail into a fucking tank. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Good luck. Okay, I wish you well. Uh, the roaches got some leftovers left to leave out for you, so have fun. Don't be scared, it's just a fake face. Okay. Good luck, everybody. I'm over this. Bob Chop. Loose, 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 loose. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you check out over here, there's going to be a new video, or a different video for you to watch. And check the description box for uh, Patreon, merch, all this fantastic merch, uh, socks that are fucking wet, and uh, what else? Um, subscribe, I said that. Uh, Twitter, follow us on, follow Cow Chop on Twitter.